Silver Strain will once again go dark at a major movie theater chain with locations across the country, including in Chicago and the suburbs. Let's go to WGN's Kelly Davis. She's live in Avondale with more on this story. Kelly. Hey, Ben and Lourdes. Regal Theaters have been streaming independent movies such as Hocus Pocus and other classics like that in order to keep their doors open, but unfortunately, it's just not drawing the crowds they need. It's bad. Bad. So, like I said, it's bad. Wanda McDaniel has been coming to Regal City North for more than 20 years. I used to bring my kids here all the time, and when they were little, and we really enjoyed the different movies that was here. She says the experience was about much more than a movie, but the quality time she shared with her kids. It was about my girls. It was about them seeing something on the screen that they really liked. Like many moviegoers, Wanda is sad to see the theater close. Regal Cinemas is suspending all operations in the U.S., closing more than 500 theaters on Thursday. It's just very shocking, I guess. The decision comes as several big-budget movies postpone release dates. The CEO of Regal's parent company, Cineworld, said, quote, The prolonged closures have had a detrimental impact on the release slate for the rest of the year, and in turn, our ability to supply our customers with the lineup of blockbusters they've come to expect from us. As such, it is simply impossible to continue operations in our primary markets. I want it to reopen, you know. I want you to open it back. When Regal reopened in August, they put robust health and safety measures in place, but it wasn't enough. Many people are still hesitant to head to the theater. When is the last time you went to the movie theater? Ooh, it's been a while. We don't see a lot of foot traffic around here anymore. Every night there, there would be a lot of people coming now to the theaters, but now that it, uh, the COVID is uh, happening, I mean, there's not much going on. The closures will impact about 40,000 employees across the country. Regal has not set a reopening date just yet, but they have said they will monitor the situation closely. Reporting live in Avondale, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News. Okay, Kelly, thank you.